First, you understand how it works. Then you learn how to practice it. And then you just repeat that mindlessly till it becomes numb. I have up 10 years of my life learning this. And the way my teacher taught me was just like wax on, wax off. Just one little thing at a time. A relentless practice. Where awareness goes, energy flows. And a simple analogy, I always tell people to look at awareness as a glowing ball of light. So imagine your mind is a vast space and your awareness is a glowing ball of light that's floating through the mind. And you can control where it goes. And there's different areas of the mind. There's an angry area of the mind. There's a healthy area of the mind. There's a science and sex and food and photography. And if your awareness is going to a particular area of the mind, that's where energy is flowing. Because where awareness goes, energy flows. And energy is like water. If whatever I water will start to grow. Right? So if I took a watering can and I watered a garden bed, would the weeds grow or the flowers grow? Both, right? Because mm -hmm. water can't tell the difference. Energy works the same way. If I put energy to a particular area of my mind, it will start to grow. So if I want to develop a particular area of the mind, all I need to do is harness my awareness, take it to that area of the mind, and hold it there long enough so there's enough energy going to that area, and that area starts to get strengthened. Have you ever met somebody who can get angry so easily? Mm -hmm. Like just like that, go into a rage. Because their awareness is trained to go to the angry area of the mind all the time. And every time awareness goes from here to there, back and forth and back and forth, it creates a path in their mind, right? Like a long, deep groove that it's so easy for them to go there. And every time awareness goes to the angry area of the mind, where awareness goes, energy flows, it's depositing a little bit of energy there. So after a while, that angry area of the mind is so filled with energy, and energy is magnetic by nature, and that's what starts to draw your awareness there. And it becomes that angry area of the mind becomes like a giant magnet that can so easily pull awareness to that area of the mind. And that's why those people can get so triggered all the time. Different people cultivate different areas of the mind. Some people are happy, they're always happy, they're always an optimist because that's where the awareness is going. And because awareness goes there, energy flows there, more energy is deposited there, more energy deposited there means more magnetic, which means it pulls awareness there much easier. The mind basically has no ability to tell what's good for you and what's not good for you. If the mind actually knew, we'd all be perfect. I'd wake up in the morning, my mind would tell me, meditate for an hour, do yoga, run, work out, eat these type, this breakfast, then, sit down for two hours or one hour, then stretch, then do this. No, my mind just says like, do whatever the hell you want to do. The mind doesn't know, right? So whatever we tell our mind, whatever we repeat over and over in our mind creates patterns. And these patterns, when they're repeated, whether they're repeated consciously or unconsciously, become deeply ingrained and become extremely difficult to build, to break. And that's why in, in monk school, it's all about rituals. Right, it's all about rituals. So from the day we, moment we wake up to the moment we go to sleep, it's ritual. And you can tell in a very traditional monastery like the one I went to, what a, from what the monk is doing, what time of the day it is. But you cannot attain self-awareness if you can't concentrate. How can I mm. be able to introspect and see what my problems are if I can't even stay focused on me for longer than five seconds? The only way I know there's a problem, if I can sit here long enough, I can look at this room and I go, that thing is seems like it's going to fall off the ceiling because I can stay concentrated long enough to observe it. So people can't see the problems within themselves because they can't stay observant long enough. They can't stay focused long enough. So for me, the first thing you want to learn is concentration because if you can't concentrate, you can't solve problems. You can't be better at what you do. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to learn, but nobody practices anything. Mm -hmm. And they think by learning something, you actually maturing or becoming wiser. No, learning doesn't make you wiser if you don't implement anything that you're learning.